All right, guys. So for today, I have a very, very classic uh, Reebok model that was definitely one of my all-time favorites from '93. Uh, uh, this one was retroed for the first time uh, in this most accurate way. Not completely accurate as the original one, but more accurate than the recent retro that it just dropped last week. Um, around 2007-2008 when Reebok actually realized that uh, retros are a, a power and people like retros and they have a ton of uh, sneakers that people want to see back and with the success of the first edition of the Pump Omni Lights they decided to release that uh, first and only signature shoe for D Brown that came out in 93 and this is the Pump D Time with that they brought the original uh, UK flag box uh, from the early days of uh, Reebok and the colorway is black, white and sport grey so these are the super uh, first edition the super limited uh, 1993 pairs worldwide uh, Reebok paper um, I bought these I mean probably a day after they dropped uh, and I was lucky to get that because they disappeared so fast um, they were extremely limited and people did not um, slap on these since it was a new new game for Reebok coming back to the um, retro market so first thing I want to point out right away is this the writing on the tongue above the rim as you guys know Unfortunately, uh, some brilliant minds in Reebok decided to uh, make a petty change and sell the Above the Rim brand to some other company uh, sometime around 2009, maybe to 2010. And uh, with that, we lost probably one of the coolest, uh, if not the coolest brand um, in the basketball world since the late 80s. Uh, under the above the rim Reebok created some of their best sneakers of all time and unfortunately we're never going to see uh, most of them coming or coming with the right branding and the uh, first evidence for that is the latest edition of this sneaker that just came last week um, instead of above the rim right here Reebok has their standard Reebok and basketball on the other side of course this is hugely irritating for me so I'm probably not going to buy that pair Luckily for me, I have this one. The other changes they made, and they apply for these as well, is the upper is leather instead of new book. The original pair had completely new book um, upper all around. And the last and probably most annoying for most people uh, is the outsole because the outsole on the original one was gum, completely gum sole, and the only part that was not gum was the um, shape of D Brown doing his dunk with covered eyes uh, right here uh, one big plus is though if you can see the hexalite on those first editions is the real hexalite just like back in the early 90s and kind of mid 90s the hexalite is the same uh, shape style and, and feel softer hexalite uh, these ones that I have are number 60 from 1993 so this is the 60th pair made of the, this limited edition um, other than those changes with the upper and the gum sole these are completely accurate uh, including the back tab with the D brown here as well uh, the uh, signature sort of a checkerboard carbon fiber print which is just a mesh uh, they have this cool tag for D brown doing his dunk uh, of course wearing the Omnizon 2's with his white laces uh, and this is the 15th anniversary edition and again they have the uh, hexalite tag kind of a <laughs> put on the reverse side it should be like this but I guess they put it like this uh, and the new pump um, keychain sort of a hang tag instead of the old style triangular uh, above the rim uh, padding absolutely amazing just like in the original pair let me pull the insole and show it to you it's uh, again very unique for those of you that have not seen the limited uh, uh, Omni lights or these ones it's the 
uh, thicker Reebok performance insole with the print of D Brown and his stats it says 1993 D Brown slam dunk contest champion 50th anniversary again the um, slam dunk champion he was in 91 I think but I don't know why they put 93 interesting hmm okay so anyway uh, very nice insole the um, tag of the actual size tag is uh, the older style and it's kind of a, on the side here uh, that shows the size right there pumps are working uh, great on these no problem both pumps uh, those will definitely stay DS in my collection probably forever since it's going to be the last uh, correctly done above the rim model unless Reebok gets smarter and decides to purchase back the branding from whatever company they decided to sell it to um, and uh, bring it back uh, to their own line but uh, these these sneakers are amazing uh, the leather is full thick full grain leather uh, absolutely high quality uh, stuff just like most of the Reebok retros uh, amazing pair I'm, I'm super super happy that I was able to grab these back in a day again you can see here uh, number 60 out of uh, 1993 uh, so yeah back in 2008 when those dropped I was I was super surprised and super happy that uh, they came back uh, despite the changes on the midsole and the upper I uh, just had to grab grab me a pair um, such such an iconic shoe and remembering back in, in high school when kids have those I had a few friends having these and the version that it was um, without the pump um, called um, oh, let me see what was it called uh, anyway I'll remember later and I'll tell you but um, I remember these they were amazing one of my best friends had the on the old gray upper uh, version another friend had the black with the old new book uh, myself I had the white and blue that I'm waiting to drop despite the Reebok and basketball I'm probably gonna get it because of the uh, the pure the, the pure fact that I had them back in, in 93 and I still want that pair to to come back in my collection so I can have it but uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that I got these that are more accurate than then what, what are we going to see now coming and what we, uh, is actually coming out um, for these for me are priceless um, I would probably never ever ever sell them even if uh, I'm in a super need of money that you know I always have this plan to probably you know if I need money I'm probably going to sell all my collection but these uh, are going to uh, stay with me forever since uh, they're so limited and they're uh, one of my all time favorite shoes uh, I I absolutely absolutely love this pair. I mean, uh, I don't know the reasons behind why Reebok uh, decided to make only one um, um, signature for D Brown. This is this is the only one that was uh, made for him. But uh, I think it, it would have been a, a cool thing to to give him more uh, and and kind of extend those uh, those signatures over the years but it is what it is it's still uh, still an amazing pair absolutely love it and and I'm super sad and super aggravated that uh, Reebok dig those uh, changes about selling the brand and made changes on the upper of the shoe I mean I, I don't understand why why can they just make new book upper and, and gum out so that they've, they've done it for other sneakers uh, it's not something uh, unique or they cannot replicate so um, it, it's beyond me if I ever if I ever get in contact with somebody with Reebok I will definitely ask them this will be one of my first questions uh, why was that done but anyway I'm, I'm too small for these kind of things but um, regardless I'm, I'm happy to to show you these guys and uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and uh, until next time, stay tuned to CollectiveKicks.com for more sneaker news, reviews, and history articles. And you have a wonderful day.
And actually at the end I wanted to show you something guys that it's super cool for me and I'm sure some of you will appreciate and you will you know again see how much I love the brand how much I love this uh, sneaker uh, this is the original uh, back tab right here from my white and blue pair back in 93 then when they uh, wore them to the ground and they finally fell apart I uh, actually cut the back tab and made a keychain out of it so you can see both sneakers their back tabs are now part of my keychain and uh, this black top actually is a leather from uh, the tongues of battlegrounds or boulevards I should say not the battlegrounds the my old uh, boulevard twos this is from their tongue thick leather with the writing black top on them I saw it together and made a keychain out of it so this is uh, how awesome and how how huge was, was Reebok for me back in the day and it still is so uh, this is the, the, the one things I, I really keep uh, since you know 21 years now for evidence that I'm you know such a big OG and I was you know the, the, the initial um, and original Reebok lover from back in the day but anyway that's that's about it guys have a good one